It's Seiko's body. Huh? I can see a mark underneath the rope. Let's try taking the rope off. This... This isn't the mark of rope leaves, is it? No way. Can it be? Handprints? Then perhaps Seiko was... Murdered? But who the hell by? Sorry, I'm in the middle of looking. Did he just quickly hide something? That's... No, it's nothing. Because I'm definitely gonna get out of here alive. Miku's looking at her phone really passionately. I wonder if she's recording a message for her friends and family. It's Seiko's bag. There's a pretty handkerchief underneath her bag. It's a thick journal. It's locked, so I can't look inside. Looks like it got a five character password. I haven't found any information yet, so I've got no clue. I should gather more info. Sayori's still sleeping. Shuta. Is that her boyfriend's name? Makes me feel a bit distant. Even her sleeping face is cute. It's a rusty knife. It doesn't look sharp. This is one of Seiko's fake nails. How did it come to fall off here? Oh, there's blood on the tip of this nail. I wonder if it scratched someone. There's blood all around on the inside as well. There's something going on here. Ah! Hey, you. Um, you didn't find a fallen nail, right? Huh? Why? Oh, sorry. It's just, when I was looking at Seiko's body, I noticed one of her nails was missing. I was wondering what happened to it. Oh, about that. I just picked it up. Huh? Does that shock you? No, nothing. It's fine. Let's just work together in finding the killer. His movements since a while ago have been suspicious. In order to go home, I gotta find evidence to who the killer is. <laughs> What's with the change of attitude? Because I'm gonna get out of here. Because killers like you are a nuisance to my very life. <laughs> Why have you decided I'm the killer? So the password is 52R82. Alright, it opened. I knew the password was related to the characters on her fake nails. Right, now the only person in this room is the sleeping Sayori. Let's take a look. Hmm? What is this? Why is Seiko holding on to something like this? Let's read the contents. Girl commits suicide suffering from stalking. Suicide from stalking? Looks like a girl named Tachikawa Aimi killed herself. Looks like the girl couldn't take the stalking. Looks like they found a suicide note. 
Speaking of this thing I found, I wonder if this is related to one of the lies someone is hiding here. And the interesting part, aren't both this girl's suicide note and Seiko's note similar? I can't live like this anymore. Goodbye. I can't take it anymore. Goodbye. I feel better after taking that nap. Really, that's great. Her sleeping face was cute. What's that doing here? Something up? Ah! Don't suddenly come out of nowhere! What are you doing? Nothing to do with you! It looked like she hit something. Shit! Masaki's washing his hands. What are you doing? N nothing Is he hiding something in his hands? I wonder if there's a reason for that. Masaki's actions have been really suspicious lately. And that article I found in Seiko's journal? The one where that girl killed herself from stalking? If he saw this, the dead girl in her suicide note, wonder if he would notice the similarity to Seiko's note. I wonder if Masaki knows anything about the Tachikara Aimi girl who was stalked. And the connection between Seiko and Masaki? I think I'm starting to get the picture. I'm gonna try pushing it. Hey, Masaki. Huh, what is it? Um, do you know a Tachikawa Aimi? Huh? N no clue. I'm gonna try looking somewhere else. I see. Thanks. Masaki then quickly shuffled out of the room. Definitely suspicious. Why was he suddenly upset? I want more information about Masaki. But he seems really intense. I don't like it. I wonder if I can get him to trust me. Huh? A handkerchief? The letter M is embroidered on it. This must surely belong to Masaki. It's folded very nicely. If I return this to Masaki now, it's gonna look suspicious. I'll leave it where it is for now. Seiko. Sayori is holding Seiko's hand. What a kind person. He's got a really unapproachable aura. Hey, you. You haven't found any key evidence, have you? Huh? You're holding evidence. Won't you tell me? You seem to have a quick mind, so I thought we could deduce and find the murderer together. Hey, how about you show me the evidence you found? Show which evidence to Misaki. Seiko's fake nail we picked up. You already told me about that one. Was there anything strange about that nail? Um, no, there was the alphabet letter R on it. Although, really, the interesting part was the blood on it. Oh, okay. Thanks for telling me. Looks like I got myself out of that. Then, Masaki left the room just like that. My suspicion of Masaki is very deep. Although I want to investigate him, it'd be bad if he saw through me and fought me. I don't know if there's anything I can do about it. Hmm? 
What's a key doing here? I think there was something I could unlock with a key. There's sleeping medicine in this case. Let's try using the key I picked up. Nice, it opened. I'll take the sleeping medicine and try giving it to that shady Masaki. But how am I gonna get him to take this? Someone placed a glass of water next to Seiko's body. Most likely Sayori. Is something up? Sayori, what do I do when you get out of here? Hmm. Looks like Sayori's at a loss for words. Be with the people I love and live happily. Oh, that's nice. Oh yeah, Sayori must have someone she cares for. Before I lost my memories, what kind of a person did I love? I hope it was someone like Sayori.